Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the outpost. Um, I am waiting on my son-in-law to get here. We're going to be clearing some brush and cutting some trees down in preparations to mill up uh, some top and bottom plates for my exterior walls. So I hope you guys enjoy the video.
maybe brush. Goodness, he has got the weight of his head on my arm. Yep. Hey, honey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh. All right, guys. You can see it's short sleeve weather today. Um, but anyway, you all remember yesterday when Stephen was up here helping me uh, do some of that cleanup up on the hill. Um, and we actually did fall a couple of the trees that I really couldn't use a whole lot for the cabin because they were so twisted but they will come in really handy for the special project that I've got going on uh, that's going to be up there on the hill and I guess you can see the boots of uh, the general <coughs> manager the superintendent the uh, comic relief for court, the outpost court jester um, anyway but yeah, we uh, got a lot of that done. I think there are six trees left that we're going to take out that are going to make the top and bottom plates for the uh, outpost here. So Jennifer showed up today. She said that she was going to come help, so I thought it would be a good time for her to help me. I've got a couple of rolls of wire here. We're going to pull uh, a couple of main runs down for each bedroom, a couple of runs for the main living area, and then I don't really have to do it today, but I got some 12-2 wiring for the the kitchen that's going to be on this end and the bathroom okay y'all um as you know anyway um you all comment and we love it we love to see what you have to say we love the suggestions that you have a lot of you all have been saying that he needs to get knee pads and he knew that too but he kind of forgot it so actually today before i um, came out here i stopped and i want you to know i bought him this state-of-the-art four dollars and 98 cent cobalt cobalt foam knee pads I figured this would get her done okay Here. now now before you get excited about his state-of-the-art knee pads you need to see mine oh the big dog here for the bougie queen okay <laughs> these are the big ones these costed quite a bit more but I think my knees will enjoy these more right I'm just kidding jokes here, these are yours, and these are mine. Anyway, I appreciate that. You know, every time I go to the hardware or the lumber store, I, especially recently, I think on my way in there, don't forget to get knee pads. And I walk out, get in the truck, and I'm halfway here, and guess what? My delayed intelligence kicks in. It's not Alzheimer's or dementia. I coined a new medical term, it's called delayed intelligence, because it does come to you, it just comes later. Anyway, I think, oh my goodness, I forgot knee pads. Honestly, it's not that big a problem. I did do a lot of raking. You've seen me when I was building the floor joists where I raked a lot of the gravels and things like that. Uh, so, honestly, it's not that bad. I think it'll come in handy, though, because that one little pointy rock, when you start to put your knee down, you don't put it fully down because, honey, that knee-jerk reaction... <laughs>
You stopping right there? Not yet. Okay. Pull off about eight feet down there and then cut it. Okay. Y'all, this is what really happens. It's no. the it's the stuff that you don't see. He's laying down on the job. I'm I'm thinking while we're running this wiring, um, about all my switches and stuff. So it was easier to just roll over here than it was to try to stand up through the two by tens. And I had to get him on video because this is funny because this is truly like the things that happen that no one sees. I think what we're going to do is we're going to run a switch for the front door over there. And we will run a switch back here to this back door. Um, Let's see, which one is which? That one is not the living area that you've got. The one you've got in your right this hand is the living one. area. Yeah. This one is? Yeah, it says F living area. Okay. I want this one. Can I help you do something? No. I'm good.
right, so that's all the wood ready. Well, we managed to get uh, those main runs um, in the cabin for um, the back rooms and the, the living area because see it's all going to be open on the inside so I would have pretty much had to have run my wiring on the perimeter on the outside walls because there's not going to be any ceiling in there. The ceiling is actually the roof. I'm going to put tongue and groove on it and um, that way all of the beams are open on the inside. I will have three um, ceiling fans in each it's kind of the houses or cabins divided up into three sections. I'll have three ceiling fans up there. So um, it was a lot easier and a shorter run to just get down underneath, run them along that central beam. And thanks for helping me because that helped a great deal where uh, she handed me staples and kept those wires from tangling up on the ends and just made it a whole lot easier. Um, so I expect you to call in sick every day at work this week. So. I wish, but here's the funny part. I don't have to call in sick. I'm actually off. You're off this week? Mm -hmm. Woo, woo. I'm sure you got plans though, right? No. No? Tomorrow I take Bentley to get his insulin, or his blood sugar checked. But, um, but now I can actually finish that insulation um, in the center. And then I'll be looking at getting a load of um, flooring. Uh, next to put that down in preparation for the little dog that's coming fairly soon and then that will allow me to be able to uh, begin to put my uh, walls together. I still have to get these trees cut so that I can mill up some um, 12 and a half foot 2x4s for my top and bottom seal plates uh, for the exterior walls but once the floor is on there I can kind of take my time about doing the rest of that. You only have 13 days till you get the dog. That's it. I know. But we'll have the floor down by then. Oh, by the way, we forgot to tell you that we are going to have a live on Saturday. Um, we also want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. This is Wednesday. Yes. So um, for those of you that have been asking when the next one was going to be, uh, we thought that, you know, why not just go ahead and do one on Saturday and then we will try to let you know um, ahead of time, I was telling her that I should probably run maybe two weeks ahead of time, start running a little ticker tape at the bottom every once in a while in the video, letting you know when the next live is going to be. Anyway, we want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in and helping uh, support the channel. We thank you very much for that. We hope that you all have a great afternoon. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the Outpost of Ken, so everybody take care. Be safe. We love you. So, psych, um, we did say goodbye, but we kind of didn't. Anyway, I actually turned the camera on. Dad, come back. Come here. Come on. We forgot to mention that we did start a new video or a new channel um, this past Tuesday. It's called The Outpost Review. We hope that you will check it out. Um, you know, some people said that they couldn't find it. Um, there is a link down in the description section underneath the video when you when you're on YouTube and the thumbnails come up there like for this video just scroll down and you should see that link and it should take you there also there's a new movie out called The Outpost and there people have been giving it reviews uh, but if you type in the search bar um, on YouTube Outpost Review it will bring up thumbnails that are associated to that and if you just scroll through there you can probably find it. There is a bear there icon that just says Outpost Review. Um, primarily kind of like the... I uh, have the Outpost Review. Kind of like the um, bear that we have that says Smoky Mountain Outpost. Uh, so it shouldn't be that too hard to find. But anyway, I had to say that and then I also had to say, what do you call a nocturnal horse? A nightmare. All right. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you back here at the outpost real soon. Woo -woo.